Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to set up your Logitech review here in Canada. Uh, I've had this one for probably about a year now. Um, I had a Star Choice uh, satellite and I could never actually get it to work properly because obviously it wasn't made uh, for Canada and I don't think it will ever come but whatever. Uh, couldn't get it to work, you know, just had no, as a video source, as, as a generic video source, uh, so I was never able to control it uh, for anything for it. Uh, recently, though, just uh, yesterday, I, uh, I changed to uh, Telus, and I got the Telus Optic TV slash Internet. Uh, with it, with that, it came this uh, little receiver, which is the CIS three thirty. And again, I just got it installed yesterday, so I figured today I would give it a shot and see if I can you know, get it uh, to maybe work a little bit better with the Logitech review. So obviously I plugged it in uh, HDMI to Logitech review, Logitech review to the TV, so you should know how to do that. Uh, <clears throat> and then so just today I decided to start playing with the uh, settings to see if I could get it to work. Obviously I upgraded it to the Honeycomb 3.1. Uh, and it you know, worked pretty decent, so I will show you. Uh, I was able to get it to work, so you can use your keyboard as if uh, for everything, channel changing, guide, all that work. Uh, so I got it to work, so I'll show you how I did mine. So you're gonna go to your apps, I'm gonna go to your settings, uh, TV source. Uh, it'll ask you to you know generic, obviously it'll set up manually, so you wanna do it manually. Uh, it'll pop up in you know, a channel and it'll say can you know if you can see the the input then you press next it'll uh, do the settings things and it, it'll uh, change to a to that so actually what I did uh, I live in Alberta so what I did was uh, when it was will ask you for a for the code the um, zip code so what I did was I entered I started punching in a whole bunch of numbers, uh, you know, trying different ones. Came up as California, uh, Virginia, and whatnot. When I typed in the four four fours, it came as came up as Ohio. So I figured, well, that's pretty close to, to Alberta. So let's give that a shot. So I was able to use that. Uh, then, uh, just randomly, you know, because it'll ask you what uh, service provider you have. Um, so I ended up going to uh, Time Warner. I just, again, I just picked this randomly. I didn't know what it works, so I figured just try it out. It'll ask you for the um, <clears throat> for the uh, box model. Uh, I put that, I put, of course, obviously I didn't have whatever they have. So I put uh, not on this list. So it'll ask you, you know, for the make of it. Obviously, DirecTV, Dish, Hughes, and whatnot. Uh, this one's a Cisco, so I click on that. That asks you for the model number, and as we said, it was the CIS 330. So again, I just tried this out. I whatever playing with it. Uh, search for that. Uh, the closest one it says is a Cisco IPN 330 HD. Uh, again, I just figure why not? Let's give that a shot. So you click on that. Uh, <clears throat> it'll do its. Uh, applications install it or not uh, so it's gonna wait for that <laughs> and again when I ask you for a uh, zip code uh, depending where you live just you know click you know type in numbers or even google it you know if you want to do that uh, see what's closest to you so it'll go through its uh, things and then it'll well this one you know change to channel 31 and it actually switched to channel 31 which meant hey, it's actually working uh, of course it says do you see did it turn to channel 31 yes it did uh, and it'll ask you what's uh, what's it playing obviously because it thinks it thinks I'm in Ohio and using, using uh, Time Warner it'll Fox Sports Ohio, Fox Sports Ohio 1 Cleveland feed uh, and I you know I see an, what it, it gives you the two other options I see another channel on 31 and I can't tell what's on 31. I click, I see another channel and then it'll ask you, right? Uh, please verify your information. Uh, so I just, that I skipped. 
So it'll say, you know, it was successfully configured. Okay. So now you got uh, that. So now you can uh, just press your back button and back out of this. So now, <coughs> obviously, you guys know what the, uh, how this Optic TV, you guys know what this looks like, right? Your remote control. So I'll show you. So you press the guide. Oops, I guess I should switch to uh, <laughs> TV first. So let's switch to TV. And now you got uh, got it showing. So you can see the guide's already up. So I show you press guide. You got the guide, right? Uh, obviously, you know that this one's here. If you press sideways, it will give you the the bottom picture there. You can go up and down and search through that. So let's exit. And so you don't think I'm, uh, you know, full of it. Here's the controller. I'll put, put, a, put that up there. We'll go to our keyboard. Again, I just got this done. So, I will show you that it actually works. So, again, here's the keyboard. Uh, at the top here, you got your mouse click, mute. Obviously, I already set up my receiver, so now I can mute it. Uh, well, excuse me. So, let's start uh, by pressing the guide. So, if I press the guide, so you can see the guide comes up. No, comes on and goes off. So that's really great that I can get be able to use it. Uh, so now let's say guide, right? And of course you go back here to your uh, normal U controller, and you can scroll up and down, as you can see. So let's I don't know, put something on here. Let's watch Saturday Night Live. It'll switch to that. Of course, that's standard definition. So let's press guide again. Uh, and of course, using the keyboard, you can you know search uh, numbers. Uh, so let's go 600. We'll switch to that, and let's watch the Big Bang on HD. So as you can see, it's switched over. So as you can see, I'm able to use my my keyboard. Uh, you know what, like how it's supposed to be, uh, or meant to be anyway. Uh, so you can see the remote controls over there. I'm using my keyboard. Uh, so yeah, it's great so far. Uh, I've still haven't figured all the all the buttons, obviously, because it was you know it thinks I'm using the the Time Warner uh, box. Uh, but so far, it's worked great. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you guys have uh, this tell us and you wanted to do it to your Logitech, uh, you know, you should be able to get it to work. Just gonna follow the steps that I did. Uh, again, I got it to work that first time around, no issues. And so now I'm really happy. So now I can, you know, uh, so I'll show you another here, of course. Press the picture in picture. You'll get the uh, picture there. And now let's, uh, you know, you can browse kind of through your thing. Uh, Let's go to NHL. I want to see what the hockey scores are. Uh, how this uh, this one wired right into my router, but it, it's kind of slow. So how to see what the what's going on? So there is the hockey scores. So let's uh, I don't know. Let's see what uh, Penguins in Chicago did. So as you can see, it's loading up. Uh, let's go to the box score and do that. And it will come up. Uh, so yeah, and then of course you can see this works here. So let's uh, I don't know. Let's let's close it for now. And uh, yeah, there's a hockey goal score. Sorry. So now let's back out of this. And uh, so so you can see now. Let's go back to TV. And again, I can just you know watch TV. Uh, now let's try this. Actually, I haven't tried this. Uh, normally, you can just hit your search button, and then you should be able to search for TV shows and whatnot. Now I don't know how this will work, obviously, because it's not what I have. So let's—I uh, don't know. Let's try. Uh... Oops. Ah, I can spell. Let's search for Jeopardy. Now it'll ask us, you know, to search. Uh, TVs, movies, videos. So let's do that and see what happens. I don't know what what's gonna do since I'm just trying this out. Now it should give us. Uh, normally we give you over the other result of what's on TV, 
um, you know what's on play and what channel what not and what's on the web so so you can see it didn't give me a full result of uh, I mean always show us what's on and what not YouTube Vimeo uh, YouTube let's see March 23rd so you know it's, it's still like again it still works right uh, so serious, I don't know, but it doesn't show me what's it's actually on TV right now if it's you know uh, live show or not. But uh, always, you know, everything is working. So, what I wanted to do was, you know, was to be able to control my TV or the satellite through this. So, yeah, so far it's it's great. So uh, I don't know, give that a shot, uh, depending where you live, and uh, see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching.